Well, as I told you in the other videos, much, many, little, some, lots of, and have, and have got, I am going to use all those words we've learned with examples. Feel free to pause this video anytime you need and check the other videos if you don't understand something. You'll find the links in the description. I'll use Trias method graphics to help you know in what part of the sentence we will be in any time, starting with the subject, auxiliary and verb, following the adverbs, and using the countable or uncountable noun at the end of each sentence. Like I told you in the other videos, the colors will help us choose the right word without making mistakes. Therefore, every time we use a countable word, we will use the purple adverbs as well as the neutral. And if we use an uncountable word, we will use the yellow adverbs and again the neutral adverbs too. All right, well, let's get started. I'll start with euros. I don't have any euros. I have a euro. I have a couple of euros. Or I have a pair of euros. I have a few euros. I have some euros. I'm going to use coins instead. And it's also countable. I have many coins. I have several coins. Or I have a lot of coins. Or I have lots of coins. I have enough coins. I have plenty of coins. I have too many coins. Now I'll use money. I don't have any money. I have money. I have a bit of money. Or I have little money or a little bit of money. I have some money. I have much money. We can use cash too, and it's uncountable as well. Let's see. I have a lot of cash, or I have lots of cash. I have enough cash. I have plenty of cash. I have too much cash. Let's use wardrobe now. I don't have any wardrobes. I have a wardrobe. I have a couple of wardrobes. Or I have a pair of wardrobes. I have a few wardrobes. I have some wardrobes. We can use a similar word. I have many closets. I have several closets, or I have a lot of closets, or I have lots of closets. I have enough closets. I have plenty of closets. I have too many closets. The word furniture is uncountable in English. I don't have any furniture. I have furniture. I have a bit of furniture, little furniture, or a little bit of furniture. I have some furniture. I have much furniture. I have a lot of furniture, or I have lots of furniture. I have enough furniture. I have plenty of furniture. I have too much furniture. I've been using have or don't have all the time, so I am going to use something different. I haven't got any batteries. I have got a battery. I have got a couple of batteries. Or I have got a pair of batteries. I have got a few batteries. I have got some batteries. I have got many batteries. I have got several batteries. Or I have got a lot of batteries. Or lots of batteries. I have got enough batteries. I have got plenty of batteries. I have got too many batteries. However, battery becomes uncountable when it means percentage. I haven't got any battery. I have got battery. I have got a bit of battery. I have got little battery or a little bit of battery. I have got some battery. I have got much battery. I have got a lot of battery or I have got lots of battery. I have got enough battery. I have got plenty of battery. I have got too much battery. Let's change again. Tense and verb this time with clothes. I didn't pack any clothes. I packed a dress. Here the word cloth changed its meaning. It sometimes happens with some words. So we usually use the name of the piece of clothing and therefore I've just used dress. Let's keep going. I packed a couple of clothes. I packed a pair of clothes. I packed a few clothes. 
I packed some clothes. I packed many clothes. I packed several clothes. I packed a lot of clothes. I packed lots of clothes. I packed enough clothes. I packed plenty of clothes. I packed too many clothes. However, a sportswear is uncountable. I didn't pack any sportwear. I packed sportwear. I packed a bit of sportwear. Or I packed little sportwear. Or a little bit of sportwear. I packed some sportwear. I'm going to use underwear this time, which is uncountable as well. I packed much underwear. I packed a lot of underwear. I packed lots of underwear. I packed enough underwear. I packed plenty of underwear. I packed too much underwear. I'll use shoes in the next example. I didn't pack any shoes. I packed a shoe. But if you really want to say you packed the two same shoes, we say I packed a pair of shoes. However, if we say I packed a couple of shoes, we mean we packed two different shoes. Did you get it? Let's keep going. I packed a few shoes. I packed some shoes. I packed many shoes. I packed several shoes. I packed a lot of shoes or I packed lots of shoes. I packed enough shoes. I packed plenty of shoes. I packed too many shoes. Let's talk about drinks now and I'll use present to talk about my habits. I don't drink any coffee. I drink coffee. I drink a bit of coffee or I drink little coffee or a little bit of coffee. I drink some coffee. Wine is also uncountable. Let's use it next. I drink much wine. I drink a lot of wine or I drink lots of wine. I drink enough wine. I drink plenty of wine. I drink too much wine. But we use the container to count coffee or wine. One cup of coffee, two cups of coffee. I know Spanish tempt to count coffee or wine without it. So let's see how it works. I don't drink any cups of coffee. I drink a cup of coffee. I drink a couple of cups of coffee or a pair of cups of coffee. I drink a few cups of coffee. I drink some glasses of wine. I drink many glasses of wine. I drink several glasses of wine. I drink a lot of glasses of wine. I drink lots of glasses of wine. I drink enough glasses of wine. I drink plenty of glasses of wine. I drink too many glasses of wine. Well, let's go grocery shopping now. I won't buy any fish. I will buy fish. I will buy a bit of fish. Or I will buy a little fish. Or a little bit of fish. I will buy some fish. I will buy much fish. I will buy a lot of fish. I will buy lots of fish. I will buy enough fish. I will buy plenty of fish. I will buy too much fish. That's when the fish is food. But if it's alive, the same word becomes countable. Although this word doesn't use the ES ending when you want to count more than two. Let's see it with some examples. I won't buy any fish. I will buy a fish. I will buy a couple of fish or a pair of fish. I will buy a few fish. I will buy some fish. Did you understand? I am going to use an uncountable word now, but with plural. Vegetables. I will buy many vegetables. I will buy several vegetables or I will buy a lot of vegetables or lots of vegetables. I will buy enough vegetables. I will buy plenty of vegetables. I will buy many vegetables. Let's use luggage now, which is uncountable. I don't have any luggage. I have luggage. I have a bit of luggage or little luggage or a little bit of luggage. I have some luggage. I have much luggage. I have a lot of luggage or I have lots of luggage. I have enough luggage. I have plenty of luggage. I have too much luggage. If you want to use the name of a piece of luggage, it will always be countable. I haven't got any suitcases. I have got a suitcase. I have got a couple of suitcases or I have got a pair of suitcases. I have got a few suitcases. I have got some suitcases. Let's use another type of bag on wheels this time. I have got many trolleys. I have got several trolleys, a lot of trolleys, or I mean 
lots of trolleys. I have got enough trolleys. I have got plenty of trolleys. I have got too many trolleys. Well, I hope you understood all I explained in all the other videos with these examples. Remember, every time you want to use few, little, much, many, plenty, or any other adverb, it's very important to know if the word you are going to use is countable or uncountable. If you don't feel sure about it, use the adverbs of the list which have two colors. In addition, I have to say, we don't really have rules when it comes to choosing one of these adverbs. It really depends on personal opinion. For instance, I think I have a lot of clothes. However, my girlfriend thinks I have a few clothes. So don't worry if you see someone uses a different word than the one you have in mind. It's just their opinion. But just make sure you are using their adverb from the right group of countables and uncountables. That's it. I hope you like this video. Comment if you want more examples or you have any questions. And you can find this same class in Spanish. The link is in the description. <laughs>